it's not uncommon to make an update to an existing product line. And it's not uncommon to launch a new product. But what is very uncommon is to start from scratch and launch an entire uh, product segment, um, you know, new to the market. And so that's really what sets Ivo apart is its scale and its scope. We put a lot of effort into building what we call a house of quality. Uh, it's a tool that we use to really determine what our customer needs are and what acuity can bring forward for those needs. Product management said we need to offer all of these things. Tight to wide, washing walls, color tune, delivery, simplifying the ordering process. What do we need to do to build support delivering every one of those things? We don't want to have to say, we can't do that with this fixture, you need something else. We want to be able to say, this one fixture can do these things. So whether it's thick ceilings or insulation contact or, or controls or emergency, we, we have that already figured out and available to, you know, to the customer at the time that they need it. We did start from the beginning, started from basic principles, and we said, what would the fixture look like that solved every problem that a lighting designer or an architect or a specifier could have? The biggest thing we had to consider from an engineering perspective was the lack of space. You know, for the four inch Ivo SRD, we were tasked to operate within a two inch plenum. So every form, every screw, every sheet metal thickness adds up very, very quickly in that, in that little height. So that really drove a big part of the design. We went through dozens to hundreds of iterations of retention types to be able to fit a fixture of that size in, in a small plenum space. And, you know, the, the result was something that nobody had ever done before because it, it was very difficult to do. We, we wanted this product to be as simple as possible for ourselves to manufacture. And so we, we spent a lot of time commonizing parts and making sure that um, we're reusing parts wherever possible and, and we're keeping our supply chain as slim and, and as efficient as possible. When we're doing stuff that's new, you have to kind of break what you've done before and find new techniques. So being kind of free from nothing exists and delivering the full breadth of what the customer is asking for kind of each step of the way making the right optic within the full platform so there's commonality and being able to take one part out and put a new part in and change the application where everything above the ceiling is the same to the customer. We really are leaning heavily on vertical integration, right? Creating our own light engines, our, our own optics, proprietary optics and patented optics, which will lead to exceptional quality of light. Uh, we can reduce the tightness of the color separation to levels that competitors can't do because we're vertically integrated. Because we're using the same light engine for whatever lumen package you want, it is going to be the same whether you have a down light, a, a narrow beam fixture, wall wash, or, or whatever it might be. Not only will the color quality light be improved, consistency and all that, but the beams that you've seen and used before under Gotham sort of products are gonna be better. To be able to see such a large team come together and just make this huge effort possible has been a really great and rewarding thing to see. It's going to be a game changer. It's going to be, the market is not going to know how to react. And I thought about the day when someone throws Ivo on a tabletop and just the engineer seeing that and going, I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know how to do this. <laughs>